Hey YouTube family, so if I need an introduction, you already know, African export. So this is going to be kind of a whole new subject. It's going to be kind of in the real talk family and it's definitely a subject that is close to me and so I know that the age range of my subscriber, base, ship, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, I have some young subscribers. I have some subscribers that are, you know, my age, the young poppin' fly 20s, the fly 30s, you know, middle age and so on and so forth. So I kind of wanted to talk about, um, teenage pregnancy, how it relates to myself. I will probably be, I'm not going to say it's going to be a series to get you guys you know, like, oh, when's there going to be more? But I'm not going to ramble on here because definitely it is a long-winded <laughs> type of subject. Okay, so um, let me start off by sharing just a little bit about my story because I was a young mother myself. Okay, and, um, you know, this is not going to be a bashing video. Um, there's going to be some real talk okay so okay now for me my experience um, in high school or even junior high to high school you know I think for me you know self-esteem and things like that really having a sense of confidence you know I did not find that until later on in my 20s so junior high I had limited experience with boys or the opposite sex whatever you want to call it I had my little boyfriend at church you know what I'm saying but real life I didn't really I, I didn't really have too many experiences so we're just gonna fast forward excuse me I had to close my window because people be in my business um high school you know junior June no senior year senior year I earlier in that year had a wonderful boyfriend that I had known for years we went to the same church I mean this was the quintessential man young man at the time that you know my parents would have loved if you know we were to actually work out he would have been it, you know, went to college, well-spoken, no babies, so on and so forth. But anyway, my friends used to tell me, oh, you know, you, you stuck up. You, you judge people, you know, because I grew up two-parent home, kind of middle class on the hill. And, uh, you know, I was like, Ugh, I wouldn't date no dude with no beanie and pea coat on or braids or you know locks or whatever it was you know I was just like I don't date hood boys you know like I don't like that and I always used to get this you think you better than everybody else okay and let me tell you this let me just stop and point this out I was too good and I should have stuck with that initial thought but I allowed those comments um to kind of persuade me to be open to um you know a male or guy that I wouldn't normally be attracted to so that leads me to meeting my child's father okay um a girl that I had known for some years was like oh this is my brother or whatever he's interested in you yada 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 long story short you know we hook up and let me just point this out I was not a young teenage girl who was sleeping around you know what I mean? To be completely honest, I was very naive and inexperienced in that nature, okay? Very inexperienced, you know? It wasn't something that I did. I, I went home, went to school. So the times that I found, nine times out of ten, I was lying about where I was supposed to be. My young subscribers out there, my teenage subscribers out there, you need to focus on school, have fun with your friends, because trust and believe there's going to be more than enough time in life to be dealing with some dudes. Trust. So anyway, I tell this story all the time. I don't know how I got pregnant. What? You don't know how you got pregnant? We know how people get pregnant, but I thought we were protected and being young and naive when it comes to individuals. Let me just say young women, if you are going to 
you know, engage in sexual activity, which I don't even recommend, mainly because as young girls, young women, young ladies as we should be, you are not emotionally, mentally ready for what's to come. So anywho, I thought we used protection. If you're going to use it, make sure you check. Feel, make sure. Okay? So anyway, I get pregnant. Now, I knew good and well he was not... He wasn't it. Okay? Trifling. Okay? I will tell you more about this young man who... Look, I'm not a... Oh, I can't stand my baby. Dad. I don't down talk him to my child. However... He's the scum of the earth, and I will get to him in another video, okay? But I will say this. It's kind of, this video is going to be all over the place because there's so many different things that I want to address and point out because when you decide, young ladies, and young ladies don't mean 15, 16, it could be my young 20s, my young 20-year-olds. When you decide to lay down, you end up getting pregnant, and you choose to carry that pregnancy out you are not only bound to this young man for life if you need to look at his family because if his family's trifling you really gonna have a big problem on your hands okay and that was me okay now I'm just gonna talk a little bit about um, being a teenage mother I kinda got off into my little story but that's just a little bit of background he's trifling I will tell you a little bit more not so much about him but my complete experience with that alone definitely was the hugest learning experience for me um, and I vowed never to have that happen again which for me I beat the other stereotype that many young women who have children within the next two years will become pregnant again and we see that we see that okay I vowed it wasn't gonna happen again now what I want to point out is that young mothers young teenage mothers young mothers that includes our young 20 year olds and things of that nature who decide to have children they do not necessarily have supportive um, other halves and nine times out of ten you're not going to have the support that is necessary um, in raising the child and you alone are probably not going to be uh, fully capable to take care of that child because in life early 20s teenage you do not have a career you are not stable some of us do not have the support that we need um, not only from the other half but from our families and that is the one thing that I want to kind of stress the point is that as mothers it is very important for us to have a supportive network if you do not have a supportive other half meaning the father of the child it is extremely important that you find a supportive network whether that means you have some positive um, women or men in your life um, and I'm not talking about somebody who you call your God your Godfather or your child's Godfather I mean somebody that really handles business that has reached the goals that you would like to see for yourself in life they have either you know someone usually that's a little bit older than you um, you know it's definitely a wonderful blessing if you have parents that are going to support you in this time even though you know, I hate to say it was a mistake, but none of us want to have a child not be able to fully and completely take care of that child the way a mother should. And let me tell you, the stress that you're going to feel, the stress that you're going to feel and the ongoing stress of just being a mother alone can break up down. Okay? So, I was, even in high school, I was never... I was a, uh, I was never attracted to the teenage moms. I kind of had my like, ugh, that's so, they stupid. You know what I mean? I used to feel like they're stupid. And I became <laughs> one of those ones. So if you find yourself in that position, it's very, very important for you to have a support system that will help you. Um, 
help you um, help raise that child. The stress that comes with raising a child and children um, is mentally exhausting. It's emotionally exhausting. And just the mental and emotional and almost chemical development of a young woman, especially if you're a teenager, you're not equipped. You're not equipped. Some people are going to be like, oh, what is she talking about? I'm going to keep it real. There's no way in hell if you're having a kid at 17, 18, 19, 20, and now we living in a day and age, if you don't have a bachelor's, ugh, please, you practically need a master's to have any type of decent career, paying you any type of decent money. So let's really keep it real. If you're living off of ramen noodles, public aid, which there's nothing wrong with, but at the end of the day, we all want more and should want more. It, it speaks to the world as far as where you are. If you are choosing to be complacent, I'm rambling, but I'm just saying, if you already are a mother and are young and are single, because nine times out of 10, you're single, you're not with the father. And that's a whole nother story. But nine times out of 10, you're not with the father because just like you're not mentally and emotionally really capable of handling the circumstance that you put yourself in with that other half, he wasn't ready either. Okay. So now that we're here, now that we're at this moment, you're a mother, you're responsible for this young child. It's a, it's a thankless job. It is a hard job. But it is a very rewarding job if you really understand what your role is in raising, teaching, um, nurturing, loving this child. So any of you guys out there who do know young women who are mothers at a young age, it is important if you can lend them advice. And see, this is the other thing. I want to talk to my young mothers out here. I know sometimes it's very difficult. If you do have the support of your family, you feel like you've grown. You feel like you've grown. You done popped out a kid. You was sexing on some dude. You grown. But you don't have your own spot. You don't have your own money. You still need help from others. Shut your mouth. Allow somebody who's older, wiser, and who has been there, who is loving you and that child and is willing to help you, allow them to help you and to take the support in a humble way and learn from the mistake. It's not a time for you to have attitudes. I understand it's hard. You're going to be like this. Okay? This is how it's going to be. <laughs> You, you have a baby and you're living at home. This is how it's going to be. But you need to take this opportunity, especially if you have the support, take it. Be humble. Listen to what they're telling you because nine times out of ten, if you have a mother and a father or a mother or a father who's worth their salt, they're going to be giving you life advice. They're giving you advice because they care and they love for you. This is not a time to be prideful. Okay? So, I mean, ugh, it's so much that I want to send out as encouragement. Now, I know I kind of real talked to you, gave you kind of the ugly side about it. But being a young mother, it's not, it's not too many good looking things about it. It's not. It is not. And a lot of women want to be lying to themselves and make them, oh, I'm a good mother. You're doing your best. There's nothing wrong. You're doing your best. And if it's been a cycle of young mothers in your family, this is what's normal to you. But I challenge women out there who, one, have a child or who have children to not get complacent in your situation. You should always want more for yourself. And especially those who only have one, oh please. That just means, okay, your life 
and maybe your goals might be delayed a little bit because you need to focus on that one child women who have multiple now i might need somebody else to chime in on that because that I, I i throw my hands up i don't know how you do it i don't know how you do it but anywho hey anybody hey give me maybe a, a video response comment below let me know what you really think about it because it's it's pretty much an epidemic okay it's too many people women and i speak out on the women because you guys need to be responsible for your bodies i i could care less about the trifling dudes out there because at the end of the day 99.9% .9 of them don't give a damn about you especially when you're talking about money out of their pocket you good to lay down with but that's about all he's not gonna marry you you guys probably will not last all of these things should be going on in the minds of young women boys should not be your priority you're going to be young for a really long time there's so many opportunities in life that should be your priority versus the opposite sex and the opposite sex gets us wrapped up caught up and and tripped up so many times than not so you already know video is sponsored by fashionwithfifi.com and the devour.com i will bring more of this subject i don't want the video to be too too long i mean i can I want to share more with you guys so i will continue on maybe pick up where i left off touch on some other points whatnot but make sure you guys click the link below to be directed to the site um i definitely want to hear some of your comments about the subject um it's definitely a touchy subject for a lot of us but it needs to be discussed our young teenage girls definitely need to hear this okay if you have a young girl a young child they need to hear this okay 10 11 12 maybe not 10 but you know what i'm saying get them young get them active get them in programs don't let them sit at home with hours of time on their hands that's where we go wrong moms so anyway i will talk to you guys real real soon on the next video until next time keep it real and uh we'll be in touch bye